Hey, yo, huge shout out to the Nerdy Gang. If you guys want a $10 code of your choosing in this video, all you guys have to do is like this video, subscribe, post notifications on, and leave a nice comment. Also, huge shout out to the last winner. DM me on Twitter. All right, so we're going over the top five meta AR loadouts in Warzone right now. One thing I have to ask you guys though, does pineapple go on pizza? Leave it in the comment section down below. I'm going to reply to everybody, but we're going to start out with the STG. Now the STG is absolutely amazing and we're starting out with the MX silencer for the sound suppression, horizontal recoil control, vertical recoil control, and damage range. You get a reduction of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Not a big deal. We move on to the VDD 760 MM 05B for highly accurate and controllable damage range, reduced scope sway and gun bob, which is going to be great for this in particular stg and bullet velocity you get a reduction of sprint to fire speed aim walking movement speed and hip fire accuracy but like i said this does not matter move on to the svt 40 pu scope you can use the g16 if you want to or if you just don't have it unlocked and you want to use the g16 completely fine it'll work just as well you just won't have as much magnification and you might get a little bit more recoil control i threw on the vdd 27 precision for the increased horizontal recoil control and aim down sight speed you get a reduction of hip fire accuracy and movement but not a big deal move on to sleight of hand now if you're somebody that believes in vital throw on vital i believed in vital at 1.2 but i've been constantly been told that it doesn't work for the stg so my hopes and dreams have been crushed and i'm using sleight of hand moving on we're going to use on hand for the increased aim down sight speed and i mean equipment dexterity if you really care about that uh, throw on the pine tar grip for the recoil control and increased hip fire accuracy if you don't want to use that you can definitely use the hatch grip for no negatives you get increased vertical and horizontal recoil control and flitch resistance which actually either way would be really good this just increases the uh, recoil control just a slight bit more like it literally is only a little bit more if you actually see this so Throw that on there, whatever one you want to use. If you don't have either of these, just throw on rubber grip. Uh, this one is controversial. I actually talked about it before. It's the 8mm Curve 60 round drum. Now, you get a reduction of aim down sight speed, reload quickness, and movement speed, but you have 60 rounds, and this actually hits harder than the Gorenko 50 round mags. But if you cannot control the recoil of this, then it's completely fine to use the 7.62 Gorenko 50 round mags for the recoil control and accuracy, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and fire rate. You get a reduction of damage and bullet penetration, but it is a bit faster. So this is stronger, but I mean, it's whatever one you really want to use. I throw on lengthen for the increased bullet velocity and carver foregrip is the final attachment for this to increase the vertical recoil control and hip fire accuracy with a slight reduction of aim down sight speed. This is the STG, but we're going to move on to another fan favorite, which is the NZ41. Now, I threw on the MX silencer for this for the increased sound suppression, horizontal recoil control, vertical recoil control, and damage range. Once again, the slight reduction of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed completely fine we're going to move on to the orb weaver 360 mmbc for the highly accurate and controllable reduced scope sway and gun bob and bullet velocity at one point it was the lower mark one burst because you could toggle and it was just it was amazing but apparently they nerfed this to the ground so the orb weaver 360 mmbc is the best option especially with the bullet velocity it's absolutely insane they're on the svt 40 pu scope if you don't have that then you can use the g16 the only downside to it is i just don't think that it's as efficient i th I do think it's good but i think it's more so good for mid-range the long range would more be this one right here i throw on the orb weaver e-pack for the recoil control recoil recovery accuracy and flinch resistance you get a reduction of movement speed aim down sight speed and sprint to fire which is not a big deal i threw on brace for the initial firing recoil control um on hand for the increased aim down sight speed hatched grip for the vertical and horizontal recoil control and flinch resistance 6.5 Sakura 50 round mags for the recoil control and accuracy fire rate movement speed increase and magazine ammo capacity mainly for the ammo and recoil control everything else kind of doesn't matter as much to me but it does have an increased fire rate so i guess that's good you get a reduction of bullet velocity and range and bullet penetration uh throw on lengthen for the increased bullet velocity and m1941 hand stop for vertical and horizontal recoil control completely up to you if you want to use that or you can use the carver foregrip and have even more accuracy and this will be the best build for the NZ41. Now you guys are probably wondering, these are the two main guns, what are the other three? Now I'm going to show you guys a secret gem. Now if you guys know about the M4A1, this thing is absolutely incredible. We're going to start out with the monolithic suppressor. So everybody that's played Modern Warfare, you guys know this gun hits hard. It increases sound suppression and damage range, slight reduction of aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness. And we're going to throw on the stock M16 Grenadier for the damage range, bullet velocity, and increased recoil control. Slight reduction of aim down sight speed and movement speed, but that's not a big deal. We're going to throw on the VLK 3 times optic. Um, I mean, this is honestly just the best choice unless you're trying to use this as an SMG. And if you are, I have a video for this gun in my channel right now. 
you're gonna put on the 50 round mags just because you want 50 rounds i mean 60 you have a little bit less movement aim down sight speed so it's completely up to you if you want to use that but i think 50 is fair and commando foregrip for the recoil stabilization and aiming stability you get a slight reduction of movement speed though there's two more and i know you guys are gonna love these one is the cooper carbine the cooper carbine is absolutely amazing trust me you're gonna want to use this now we're gonna start out with the mx silencer for sound suppression horizontal recoil control vertical recoil control and damage range you get a reduction of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed you're gonna put the 18 inch ragdoll g45 for the bullet velocity and range and recoil control with a slight reduction of fit fire accuracy fire rate and aim down sight speed we're gonna fix that so no worries put on the svt 40p u scope completely up to you if you want to use the g16 but i mean it, like i said in the previous ones it's just not as efficient uh cooper custom padded for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire plus flinch resistance you get a slight reduction of initial firing recoil and aim stability or whatever one the other one is put on this for accuracy of recoil during sustained fire and on hand for aim down sight speed put on the hatch grip for vertical and horizontal recoil control and increased flitch resistance throw on the nine millimeter 60 round drum for the vertical control i mean i'm sorry the recoil control and accuracy fire rate aim down sight speed and magazine ammo capacity this is the best choice even though you have a reduction of bullet velocity and range bullet penetration damage and reload quickness you're going to put on compressed rounds for the increased fire rate and carver foregrip and this is going to literally be able to take anybody out from any range if you watch my cooper video on my channel you'll see i absolutely mapped people that were like so so far i i can't even explain it this thing can destroy from any range and it's extremely fast ttk so try it out this is one of my personal favorites there's one more and i know you guys are going to love another hit Hidden gem and i know a lot of people haven't had the opportunity to use this in a while but it is the automaton we're using the mx silencer for the sound suppression horizontal recoil control vertical recoil control and damage range now you get a reduction of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed throwing the anastasia sniper for the bullet velocity and range and accuracy you get a reduction of hip fire accuracy and aim down sight speed not a big deal you're not going to be hip firing this gun i mean if you don't have this i don't really know a good alternative maybe the first one actually first one would be a good alternative the only thing is you're not getting that bullet velocity and range which is kind of optimal for this svt 40p u scope same rule applies you can use the g16 just not as efficient and stage of padded for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire and flinch resistance i don't know if you would want to use the empress broadsword i feel like this is just overall the better option but it's completely up to you whatever one you want to use if you don't have anastasia padded unlock you can use the empress now uh, you get a reduction of initial firing recoil and aiming stability if you were to use this it wouldn't really benefit you it's just not meant for ars well, at least not distance ARs. I throw on tight grip for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. Throw on on hand for aim down sight speed. Throw on hatched grip for vertical recoil control, horizontal recoil control, and flinch resistance. Throw on the 6.5 Sakura 75 round drum just because I want as many bullets as possible. You get a reduction of aim down sight speed, reload quickness, and movement speed though. Throw on lengthened for the increased bullet velocity, which would be great. And the Carver 4 grip to top this all off for the vertical recoil control and hip fire accuracy. You're not going to hip fire in this, but it's more so about the recoil control. Get a slight reduction of aim down sight speed, and this is the fifth gun. Let me know which gun is your favorite in this video, and let me know if this video helped you out. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's try to get this video 500 likes.